it's your girl Tama Stitches. If you join us for the first time, you are highly welcome. I want to appreciate all our subscribers. Thank you very much. Please keep sharing our video and give us thumbs up. Leave your requests in our comment section. We will attend to you. So in our last class, I taught us how to draft trendy booboo gown. The booboo gown that we'll be using uh, net, we'll be attaching some net to some part of the, the body. Just watch our first video and you'll see it. So here is the booboo gown. I have cut the stripes that I want to attach by the sleeve and the baby net that I'll be attaching together by the sleeve all round. So I'm going to sew today. So for us to start sewing, first thing is to work on our back slits show you how we we'll cut this v here for the back slit so I go, i'm going to take it to the machine to just hem the down first fold the first time half and fold it again the second time then you hem all the down first that's the first thing i'm going to do then I want to prepare the print I'm going to be putting on that open slit. It's not going to be open. I'm going to be adding a print under it. In the last video, I told you we are cutting 23 length because the slit length is 23. So I'm cutting 23 length in a fold by 20 width. That's what I've done here. So after cutting the fabric, I also cut the net the same thing. So what I did was, was to salvage the net in between. So I folded it. Here is the net and a kind of net. And here is the fold. So I just put them together. Now they are becoming four pieces. Look at it. The net, two akara, then one in a fold now. The fold is still there. So what we need to do now is take this to the machine and hold it round. So that it become one piece like this. So I'm doing that now. Take it to the machine. Hold it down and I'll turn the down of the gown. Then I'll bring it back. Stay tuned. So I've taken it to the machine. You know it's in a fold. The fold is still here. I just stitch, top stitch around the open part. Now it is one piece. So this is what I'm going to use to make that box print in the gown. Let me set this aside. I've hem the down part. I'm done hemming all the damn parts. Now let's start our work of inserting this print. So here is our slit. It's open. You can see it's open. So what I need to do now is to insert this. So I'm going to be stitching by the side first. There are two sides, one side here, one side the other. So I'm taking the first side. I'll be stitching it front facing front here. So I'm using pin to hold it. The front of the print is facing the front of the material but this is the back part so you turn it in this way so it can stitch together so let me use pins and hold them together just pay extra attention See holding them. So I've pinned one side. I'll take the other side and start pinning again. Just the edge to the other side of the gown. Pin them together, front facing front. So 
I'm going to pin them all the way down. So I've pinned this side and I've pinned this side. Don't forget this essence is still here. So let's leave it. Let's take it to the machine now and stitch this together. And then stitch this together and then bring it back. So I've taken it to the machine. I've attached this side of the print and this other side. So now, remember there's this V that will cut here, this piece. So I'll get the center of this uh, print. Mark it, then take it to meet the center of this V, like this. So I'll take it like this. If you seeing what I'm doing, there is the center and the center of the V. Hold it like this with your pin. Okay, that's the first thing I'm doing here. Hold the V with a pin. Now I'm taking one inch here from the left and the right side. Box print it together towards the same center. Just be careful with this. I'll still pin it again in the center I'll pin it again okay I've pinned the one inch I took from the both sides okay so now I now have to fold in this like this and fold in the other part like this do you get it all is towards that little v mark i made here so i folded them now and turn and look the print is already forming so i've done that now i'll use pin and hold it then take it to the machine to stitch it together. So let me hold this. Hold it well. It's a pin. But I'm trying to, to achieve a print here, a bit neat print. I'm going to be ironing all this down. So let me take it to the machine and give it some stitch. So I've taken it to the machine, I've inserted our clothes slit. That's how beautiful it looks. Cut off all the small, small thread. This is the front. So what I'm going to do now is to give it a very neat press, very well, so that it will be flat. Now I come to the back. I'm going to stitch it like this, and the machine just stitches straight like this. Stop stitch it twice. And that closes the whole, uh, closes it neatly. So I'm going to stitch it like this. And then give it a nice, nice press. See how beautiful our closely looks. It's inverted box print. So let me go and top stitch it from the back. And then give it a nice press. Then we'll go to the sleeve part. So we are done with our slits. We have uh, inserted our cover there, uh, printed the slit there. So now we want to work on the sleeve. First, what we need to do is to fold in the stitch, the sleeve from the part of the body where it joins together. Start from that place. Just hold it in by half inch twice all the way around. And stop. You know, it's the front and the back are together. So from the front, you hem it down, you hold it down all the way to the back side and do the same to the other sleeve. 
once you are done now next thing is to mark two inches starting from where the sleeve starts from you're going to be marking two inches all the way down so let me take it to the machine now and do that so i'm going to fold the sleeve all the round folded mine twice so now what i'm doing now is to mark two inches from that sleeve edge two inches all the way around mark it all the way around the sleeve the sleeve uh, opening so i'm using my tutu that i've already cut you know i cut this three inches I'm going to place it and gather it, make ruffles all around that two inches line. That's what I'm going to do now all the way around. You can see how it's only forming even without stitching on it. You can see. You can see how it's forming. So I'm taking it to the machine now to make sure I make enough ruffles all the way around that two inches. Then I'll bring it back for you. So I've attached this round our uh, sleeve. Just on that two inches, I attach it towards the outer part. You can see how beautiful it looks. So I'm gonna be using this uh ankara to attach back here. So what that means is that I'm gonna place the ankara towards the inner part on top of the nail so it will not be facing each other. So when I'm done, I'll turn it like this. Don't forget to neatly finish one side of the Ankara, the fabric, or can weave it, depends on you. I'm going to weave mine now, but you're going to stitch it side by side. The back will be the one facing up, the back of the fabric will be facing up. So you place it where the stitch of the net is, stitch it all the way down, so we'll be able to turn it on top like this. That's the aim. So let me go and quickly weave this and then top stitch it by the side, stitch it by the side of the neck side by side with this and turn it to cover it. So here is our sleeve. You can see how beautiful we finished it. It's so beautiful and neat. So now from that upper part, you get the center from this our neckline. You get the center of our neckline. I've marked it here already. Here is our center. I mark it all the way to where the sleeve stops. After then, I will measure from my shoulder. I will measure my bust point. The bust point we are using here is ten and a half. You mark it here. I mark it on the other side too. After putting on this, the center. After the bust point, we we'll get our half length. Half length I'm using here is 17 and a half. Mark it here. Half length is as good as our, our waistline. Then after then, we we'll get our hip line, which is where the sleeve stops. You know, it's between 8 to 9 inches after your waist. So you mark that down here and mark it on the other way down too. So now I want to insert our measurement. So the bust will have this bust divided by four. You're going to insert it. Then whatever you get, you divide it into two, half here, half here, so that to balance up in between the two lines, the center of the gun. So now I'm going to be inserting what we have here. I will have. So I mark 10 inches here, 10 inches here. And decide to make it 10 and a half. Then the waist measurement divide by four. Or you can say divide by two, since it is in two fold. Divide it by two. Then whatever you get, you put half of it here and half of it on the other side. So like, let's say, we are dealing with 38. So you now say 38 divided by 2. That will give you 19. So to get 19, I say 19 divided by 2 again. That will give you 9.5. So you place your 9.5 on this side. Place the other 9.5 on the other side. Then you take to your hip measurement, do the same thing. 
by the time you even get there it's just by that sleeve side so so now what we're going to do is to connect these three points let's just be certain not to exceed because we're going to be joining just where we we'll join our normal kaftan i'm going to we're marking on the front of this uh, dress so i'm going to be joining these two lines can use your free hands to join it and you can use your ruler and you see get it then do the same joining here and joining here so all i need to learn is take it to the machine and i'll just top stitch on top of front of this gown and i'll bring it to you so this is how beautiful our booboo dress booboo dress what is that it's so mm. beautiful watch our video look at this beautiful oh, honey, shut up i'm using it for something now